In this language focus video, we'll talk about the structure and meaning of the active and passive voice. Let's start with active voice. The subject in an active sentence is the doer of the verb. The bear attacked the man. In this sentence, it's clear that the bear was the one in the sentence who attacked, and the man is the victim. The structure of an active sentence is subject, followed by verb, and then an object if necessary. Now what about passive voice? Let's take a look at the same sentence, but this time we'll use passive voice. The man was attacked by the bear. In passive voice, the subject, the man, receives the action of the verb, attack. The bear attacked the man. The man was attacked by the bear. The meaning is the same, but the grammar is different. Here are a couple more examples. Olympic athletes are admired all over the world. Some mistakes were made in the article. My wallet was stolen. Notice, in these examples, we don't know the doer of the verbs. For instance, we don't know who exactly admires athletes. We can understand that it means people in general, but it's not stated. Similarly, we don't know who made the mistakes in the article, but we can understand that it means the journalist who wrote the article. And finally, in the last example, we don't know who stole the wallet. So in this example, the emphasis is on the action, was stolen, rather than the doer, the person who stole the wallet. Therefore, you can see that we use the passive voice to focus on the action or the receiver of the action, not the doer. The subject in a passive voice sentence is the object in that same sentence in the active voice. Don't worry, we'll talk more about when and why we use the passive voice in the next video. Let's look back at our original example, the bear attacked the man, or the man was attacked by the bear. In this case, we know the doer of the verb, the bear and we use preposition by to identify them. The man was attacked by the bear. If we didn't know the doer or who attacked the man, then we could have ended the sentence without mentioning the bear. The man was attacked. Now, let's look at the structure of passive voice. The verb is expressed in two parts. The verb to be, am, is, are, was, were, and the past participle. The verb to be shows the tense. For example, Olympic athletes are admired all over the world. We can see that this is in the present tense because of the verb to be. In this case, athletes are admired. But in this sentence, my wallet was stolen, we can tell that it happened in the past because of was. In many cases, the past participle is the past tense, as it is with verbs attack and admire. If you can add D or ED to put a verb in the past tense, then the past participle is the same form. But remember, there are as many as 400 irregular verbs. For some of those irregular verbs, the simple past and the past participle forms are the same. But for others, they're different. For example, mistakes were made. Made is the irregular past tense and past participle of the verb to make. While in another example, my wallet was stolen, stolen is an irregular past participle of the verb to steal. Stole is the irregular past tense. Steal, stole, stolen. To summarize, in this video, we talked about the structure of the active and passive voice. Now that we know how to create sentences in both voices, in the next video, we'll talk about when and why each voice is used. Test your knowledge of the structure of active and passive voice in the next game.